Run Britain, a brand new series tonight on BBC Two at nine o'clock. Welcome to the quiz show that demands nothing less than perfection. Behind this screen are four contestants who will be hoping their knowledge is flawless because one single mistake could give the game away. This is perfection. Hello and welcome to the quiz show where only perfect play is good enough. Behind me are the contestants. We call them the usual suspects. They're in our isolation room. In a moment, one of them will be randomly selected to join me here to play perfection. They'll then face a series of true or false statements. For example, if I said the Severn is the longest river in the UK, would you say that's true or false? Well, if you'd said true, I can tell you you'd be right. Answering true or false might seem easy, but if the contestant gets a single answer wrong, their opponents, the usual suspects, will be allowed into the game to capitalise on their mistakes. So, you know how the game works. Let's meet the usual suspects. Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm a customer services manager. I'm from the west of Ireland, and this is my first game. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm a barrister. I live in South London, and this is my first game. Hello, my name's Mike. I'm retired now. I'm from Fulton La File near Blackpool, and this is my second game. Hi, I'm Corinne. I work in telemarketing. I live in York, and this is my eighth game. Welcome to you all, and especially to Naomi and Matthew, who are new to the game. So, Naomi, what do you think of your uh, co conspirators? I think I've got them sussed. I think uh, Corinne's nearly uh, set up shop. She's uh, <laughs> had some <laughs> games, so. Take a route, I think, yes. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> you looking forward to playing the game? Yes, I only came in for the warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that we manage to keep you uh, nice and comfy whilst you're here and amongst us. Welcome to you all, and best of luck as we now find out which one of you will be randomly picked to play perfection. Corinne, it's you, finally. You have been chosen to play perfection. Corinne, welcome to the game. Hi, Nick. Nice to be down here. It certainly is after eight... Uh... Longest-serving usual suspect you really? are. Really? Oh, gosh. Corinne, it's now you versus the usual suspects. Yep. They were your teammates for a long, long time. Now they're your enemies. Yes, indeed. Their job is to stop you from winning the prize run because your failure will mean the prize money rolls over to the next game where one of them could be sitting here playing for a bigger total. Mm. And you don't want that to happen, do you? Absolutely not. Every game on perfection is worth £1,000. Here's the good news. Nobody's won the past eight games, so the prize fund currently stands at £9,000. Yeah. That'd be handy at the moment, wouldn't it? Very handy. What would you spend on? Well, I'm planning to go on a big holiday with my husband. We're both having special birthdays. and uh, Special birthdays? Special birthdays. <laughs> right. <laughs> and um, we both love music, so we're hoping to go to uh, New Orleans, Nashville and uh, Memphis. That's a great trip. I know. Great road trip. Good yeah, luck. Thank you. Here's how the game works. You'll play three rounds and then a final. Every round that you achieve perfection will make the final easier for you. However, if your performance is anything less than perfect, the usual suspects here will have a chance to step in and steal the round, making the final that much harder for you. More of that to follow later. Usual suspects, we're going to switch you off for now so you can't see or hear anything. And away they go. Queen, you can now talk through your answers without giving away any vital knowledge, OK? okay? Yes. Each round consists of four true or false statements. You'll be answering against the clock. You will only have 45 seconds. And once you've given your answer, your first answer, it'll be locked in. Yeah. You ready? I am. Good. Let's play perfection. <laughs> your 45 seconds starts now. Robert Peston is a TV chef. True. True. Colin Powell served as US Defence Secretary. True. True. The port of Rostock is in Germany. Not sure about this one. Um, uh, false. False. And finally, rum is made from dates. <laughs> I know for a fact it's not made from dates. It's false. False. Lovely. Thank you very much. And within the allotted time, you have answered all four statements. You're absolutely certain about rum not being made from dates? Oh, yes. Do you know what it's made from? If you think it's not made from dates? Sugar cane. OK. Well, before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. Now, don't forget, they will be able to hear everything you say from now. Mm -hmm. OK. Usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Corinne's answers. Naomi, has she achieved perfection? Um, I think she's done pretty well, but I'm not sure about A. Thank you. OK, Corinne, uh, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. 
just the one correct. That's a long way short of perfection. And because you didn't manage perfection, you've now let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. Usual suspects, you can steal the round. You can see Karen's answers. You need to change three of them. Which three is it going to be? Well, rum isn't made from dates, is it? Um, it's made from uh, molasses. So she's got that one right. Well, the only thing is, is there wasn't Colin Powell the US Defence Secretary? Because he wasn't Secretary of State, because that was Condoleezza Rice. Well, what about rum? I mean, she's got one rum. Right. Molasses? It, it, it could, yeah, isn't... rum is made from molasses, which is a sort of sugar sort of thing. Could you not get that from dates, dates. and the dark yeah, colour of the dates? Yeah, and it's dark, because molasses is dark, and dates... Yeah. yeah. Um, well, so, so which ones do you want to... Well, I think say... A, C and D, to be honest, are wrong. I'm with Matthew on that. Only because I'm... I'm pretty sure Mark Colin that Powell. Colin Powell yeah. is yeah. 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 Secretary. Right. So we want to change A, don't we? Yeah. We want to change C and yeah. D. So A changes from true to false. Correct. C changes from false to true. D changes from false to true. Leaving B yeah. as answered by Corinne. Use your suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. If the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. Robert Peston is a TV chef. True or false? It is false. He's the BBC News business editor. In actual fact, I'm sure he's a very good cook at home, but he's not a TV <laughs> chef. <laughs> Colin Powell served as US Defence Secretary. You decided to stick with true on that one, so you want this one to turn green. Is it true or false? Oh, sorry. It's sorry, false. Right. He was Secretary of State. No, he was. So, I'm afraid, usual suspects, that you have failed to steal the round because you did not achieve perfection. How have you done at home? Can you still achieve perfection? Let's carry on and check it, shall we? The port of Rostock is in Germany. Is that true or false? It is true. You know how this is going to go now, don't you, Mike? Rum is yes. made from dates. Is that true or false? It's false. It's actually made from sugarcane or molasses from sugarcane. Ah, OK, sugarcane. Usual suspects, had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity to make Corinne's chances of winning the prize fund much harder in the final. And here's how. Corinne, this is your final board. The six blank spaces need to be filled with subject categories. Behind each category will be a true or false statement, and you'll need to answer all six correctly to win the prize fund. Here are the final round categories. Take a look. Film stars, cartoons, chemicals, there's a right old mix in there. Had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity of adding two categories of your choice on the board. But, because neither side won the round, the two categories that were due to be chosen will now be carried to the next round, meaning the four categories will be on offer. Usual suspects, it's time to switch you off. We'll see you in round two. Corinne, now the usual suspects have gone, what do you think of those categories? Which ones would you really not want to get? Rappers. Mm -hmm. Chemicals uh, are probably not keen on. OK. You ready for the next round? Yep. Good. Let's play round two. <laughs> Your 45 seconds starts now. The 1812 Overture is a work by Tchaikovsky. True. <clears throat> True. True. Red Admiral is a common type of ladybird. False. False. British Sign Language is different from American. False. False. And finally, Warwickshire Cricket Club's home is Edgebaston. True. True. With plenty of time to spare, almost half the time, in fact, you've answered all four statements. Before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects and see what they have to say. Usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Corinne's answers. Uh, Mike. Has she achieved perfection? Um, don't think she has. I think uh, C is... Uh, she's got the wrong answer for C. OK. Corinne, let's find out how many you've got right. Three of the four, close. But, again, you need absolute perfection to take the round. Use your suspects. Can you steal the round? You can see Corinne's answers. You need to change one. But which one? I, th I think the, the wrong think, one is yeah, a C. Sorry, no, yeah, I'm joining, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're all agreed, Nick, that the uh, wrong answer is C there. So you'd like to change C from false to true? Correct. Thank you. A, B and D remaining the same as Corinne's original answers. Usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. The 1812 Overture is a work by Tchaikovsky. Is that true or false? It is <laughs> true. Uh, Red Admiral is a common type of ladybird. Is that true or false? It is false. It is, of course, a type of butterfly. 
moving on, this is the one that you actually changed. So, British Sign Language is different from American. Is that true or false? It is true, so you know where this is going. Warwickshire Cricket Club's home is Edgebaston. Is that true or false? It is, of course, true. Congratulations, usual suspects. You have achieved perfection. <laughs> now, that's something of a disaster for you, Corinne, because the usual suspects have succeeded where you failed and they've stolen the round. Usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Corinne's chances of winning the prize fund of £9,000. Quite a bit harder. Let's see the final board. Because you, usual suspects, won the round, you've earned the right to choose four categories to add to the board. That's two from the first round and two from the round that we just played. So, which four would you like Corinne to play in the final? Rappers, I think. Oh, yes. yes. Rappers, we really yeah. so... can't see Corinne as uh, being right. a rapper. So, if we take that across, rappers goes in at number one. Olympics. We were talking about Olympics, Olympics. weren't we? Yeah. yeah. So, Olympics, we think. Yeah. Olympics. Two more to choose. I don't know. Hell. 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 Yeah. yeah. Hell. Hell <laughs> over to Thank you, please. Hell. Tax Are we having well? tax? Or... Yeah, let's just have tax, yeah. shall we? Go on. Yeah. Oh. Tax, tax, tax. And tax me. moves back to be right next to hell again. Congratulations, <laughs> usual suspects. You've won the second round. It's time to switch you off, and we'll see you in round three. Grin, uh, it's almost like they were reading your mind. Mm, nice. Positive mental thinking, yes? Absolutely. Great. Definitely. Let's play round three. <laughs> and your 45 seconds starts now. A trireme was a Greek warship with three hulls. True. True. Archie Shep is a famous jazz saxophonist. I don't know this, so uh, I'll, I'll go with true. True. German football teams play in the Hanseatic League. Uh, that's false. False. And finally, Oliver Reed played Bill Sykes in the film Oliver. Uh, that, that's true. True. Thank you. And again, with time to spare, you've answered all four statements. Good. The, the C and D, I feel fairly confident about. I think German German football is played in the Bundesliga. So A and B are a bit more of a worry, are they? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know those. OK, well, before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. Hello, usual suspects. These were the four statements, and next to them are Corinne's answers. Matthew, what do you reckon? I think she's done quite well, Nick, to be honest, cos I think... C's right, because um, I think the Hanseatic League is actually to do with a form of military operation. Interesting. So, Corinne, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. <laughs> close, but close isn't good enough. I'm afraid, Corinne, you haven't quite managed to put the perfect round there. As a result, you've now handed your enemies, the usual suspects, an opportunity. Usual suspects. You can see Corinne's answers. You need to change just one. I'm pretty sure on C and D. I think mm. A is right. A is right. Makes sense. Three holes. Yeah. yeah. Do we think B's B? wrong? We think B is wrong, Nick. Yeah. Right. So you'd like to change B from true to false? We would indeed. Leaving A, C and D as answered by Corinne. Correct. Usual yeah. suspects. Let's find out what correct answers are. A trireme was a Greek warship with three holes. You thought Corinne was right about this, so you need to turn green. Is it true or false? No. It's actually false. Good thinking on the try, in as much as uh, try does mean three, obviously, but it was actually about three rows of oars, three oh, banks of oh, oars oh, up the yeah, side of the ship. Oh. So, I wonder, have you managed to achieve perfection at home? Let's press on and find out for you. Archie Shep is a famous jazz saxophonist. True or false? It is, of course, true. German football teams play in the Hanseatic League. Nope. They play in the Bundesliga. And Oliver Reed played Bill Sykes in the film. Oliver, true or false? Of course, we now know that it's true. So, usual suspects, had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity to make Corinne's chances of winning the prize fund much harder in the final, because you've had a chance to choose all of her subjects. Let's take a look at the board. Nobody managed to win round three, meaning we have two blank spaces still to be filled. To fill those blank spaces, you'll take it in turn to choose a category. So, Corinne, as the single player, you get to choose first. What do you fancy to take across? I'll go with 1950s, please. 1950s moves across. 
And use your suspects. You get to choose the last category that you think will trouble Corinne. Right, what do we think on this one? Chemicals. I'm um, yeah. feeling chemicals. chemicals. Yeah. Right, Nick, we're going to choose for the final category, chemicals. Thank you very much. Chemicals moves across. Thanks, guys. We, uh, <laughs> yes, Corinne seems very happy with that. Uh, we now <laughs> know our six final categories. They are rappers, Olympics, hell, tax, the 1950s, and chemicals. Use your suspects. It's time to switch you off for the final time. Here we go. Do you think you can still do this? Of course I can. Of course you can. Especially when there's nine thousand pounds up for grabs. It's time to play the final. <laughs> Corinne, this is the all-important final. If you can achieve perfection, you could be leaving with a prize fund of nine thousand pounds. If you fail, you could be leaving with nothing. Which, of course, would be great news for the usual suspects, as one of them could be playing for a rollover of ten thousand pounds in the next game are you ready i am as ready as i'll ever be let's play the final round <laughs> Karen, here are your final six categories you must answer all six statements correctly if you want to win the nine thousand pounds think carefully there's no time limit but once you've given an answer your first answer it's locked in you ready yep okay let's reveal your first statement please tell me whether you believe it to be true or false rappers <laughs> In 2008, Beyoncé married Jay-Z. I know she's married to him, and I think it was in 2008. So I'll go for true. True. Olympics. Zola Budd represented Britain at only one Olympics. She did represent Britain. True. 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 Hell. Tartarus was the ancient Norse name for hell. I haven't a clue about this, so I think I'll choose... false. False. Tax. Residents of Jersey are exempt from income tax. Now, I know there is something about Jersey where there is some, something to do with tax, but I don't know whether they're um, exempt. I mean, surely they must pay something. I'll go for false. False. The only subject you chose for your final now, the 1950s. Juan Manuel Fangio was a surrealist artist. I, I'm almost certain I know this. I think he was a racing car driver. So that's not true. It's false. False. Yes. And finally, chemicals. <laughs> Laughing gas is used in cans of whipped cream. <sighs> Obviously, it, it's an aerosol, it's pressurised, so there's some form of gas. Um, I'll say true. True. Mm-hmm. Corinne, those answers are now locked in. Remember, if there is one single mistake, you leave with nothing. Let's bring back the usual suspects to see what they've got to say. Use your suspects. You can now see the final six statements, and next to them are Corinne's answers. Corinne, your answers are now locked in. You can't change them by yourself. But if you think you've made a mistake, you can unlock the board with the help of the usual suspects. This will, however, come at a cost. Remember, all of you, you can't refer to any of the statements specifically. Use your suspects. I'm now going to ask you to tell me how well you think Corinne has done, if you want to help. And if you do, how much it will cost. Corinne, who would you like to hear from first? Um... Mike, please. Well, I think you've done very well there, Corinne. Um, I can't really sort of help you, I'm afraid, uh, Corinne, on this occasion, but I think you've done very well. OK, okay Mike, thanks. Uh, Naomi, please. Um, I think, Karen, that you have possibly got two wrong, um, but like Mike, I wouldn't be willing to come down either. OK, thank you for, be for your honesty. Matthew? Hi, Corinne. Yeah, I think it's Hi. a bit... Hello. Um, I think it's a bit of a pick-and-mix, really, because I think there are two that I'm not convinced you've got right. I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to come down, but I think if you've got all of those six right, then you deserve the money, quite frankly. OK, so none of you will come down, no matter what the offer is? Afraid not. Sorry. OK, Good well, thanks very much, anyway. OK, Thank I you. think that has uh, concluded negotiations. None of our usual suspects are willing to come down and help, so you're going on your own. £9,000 at stake. Six answers away. Let's find out if you've achieved perfection.
Remember, if the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. In 2008, Beyonce married Jay-Z. You answered true, and we'd like it to turn green for you so that we get off to a good start. Is it true or false? It is true. That's my worst one. That was your worst one, one of the ones well, you were I, most worried about, was I it? I didn't want rappers, no. Well, there you go. You didn't want rappers, you got it, and you got the answer right. So, it's a good start. Zola Budd represented Britain at only one Olympics. You thought about it, thought that was probably true too. You answered true, so again, we need this to turn green to keep you on your way to the money. Is it true or false? I can't look. <laughs> look up. <laughs> 1984 in Los Angeles. Very good. Two out of two. Third of the way to £9,000. It's almost like you've just earned £3,000. Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. Can I have that? <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> you can't have it in bits like that. You have to achieve perfection, <laughs> so let's press on. Tartarus was the ancient Norse name for hell. You thought about this? Mm, I haven't got a clue. So it was a guess? It, oh, absolutely. I don't know. I don't know. You guessed false. We need this to turn red to get you halfway towards the money. Is it true or false? Come on. It's false. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tartarus was, in fact, part of the underworld in Greek myth. Halfway to £9,000, you're doing it all on your own as well. Residents of Jersey are exempt from income tax. You certainly seem to be aware that there are differences about Jersey, but... You thought they paid some income tax. They must do, you said, so you went for false. <sighs> Is that true or false? It's false. <laughs> now, there are some uh, taxes, like capital gains tax and things, that they don't pay, but they do pay income tax. So, two questions away from £9,000. Juan Manuel Fangio was a surrealist artist. What did you think he was? I thought Fangio was a racing driver in the So 50s. you went for false. If it turns green, no money at all. <sighs> if it goes red, you're only one statement away from £9,000. So, Juan Manuel Fangio was a surrealist artist. Is that true or false? <sighs> Argentinian racing driver uh, won world championships during the 50s. You were absolutely right. Well, 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 look where we are. All on your own, you've got five out of the six. There's just one statement standing between you and £9,000. Laughing gas is used in cans of whipped cream. I guess? Absolutely, I don't know. A total guess. Absolutely. So basically, £9,000 or nothing is resting on this guess. You answered true. Therefore, you need this to turn green. If it turns green, you've won £9,000 all on your own. If it turns red, you go home with nothing. Laughing gas is used in cans of whipped cream for £9,000. Is that true or false? It is true. <laughs> you have achieved the fortune. You've won nine thousand pounds. Can't believe it. Nine thousand pounds. I know. I don't believe oh. it. <laughs> That's very cool, isn't it? Yeah. You did it all on your own as well. I know. I never thought I could. You've proved it to everybody now, haven't you? That £9,000 is big, yes? It's not just the money, no. It's just getting them right. It's quite handy, the money. It's though, very it? handy. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, usual suspects, the prize fund has been won, so we reset the total back to £1,000 in the next game. Bad news for you, but what fantastic news for Corinne. Congratulations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Corinne, who's going home with £9,000. <laughs> Wow. It's now time to meet the next Usual Suspect, hoping to play perfection today. Usual Suspect, please introduce yourself. 
Hello, I'm Aidan, I'm a funeral director, and I'm from Hyde in Greater Manchester. Welcome to you. There's a certain look that goes when you introduce yourself <laughs> with that job, isn't there? But there is, yeah, yeah. They give you funny looks, especially the older people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, I think, I think we better move along pretty quickly there. Uh, welcome and best of luck to you all, as we now find out which one of you will be randomly picked to play perfection. Aidan, it is in fact you. You have been chosen. Please come and play perfection. Aidan, welcome to the game. Hi. It's now you versus the usual suspects. They were your teammates very briefly. Now they're your enemies. Mm -hmm. Every game on perfection is worth £1,000. Unfortunately, the previous game was won, so the prize fund currently is reset to £1,000. <laughs> So what would you spend it on if you walked out of here with a £1,000? Um, I'd like to put it to buying some equipment for my son. Um, yeah, my son's disabled and we'd like to buy a trike for him, but they're uh, quite a lot of money. So, Are they? Yeah, about two or three grand, so I'd put it towards that. OK, well, yeah. look, good for you, and I hope you do really well. Thank you. Three rounds and a final to come. Usual suspects, we're going to switch you off for now, so you can't see or hear anything, but as soon as Aiden makes a mistake, you'll be back in the game. And away they go. Aiden. You can now talk through your answers without giving away any vital knowledge, okay? Okay, yeah. yeah. Shall we start? Yep, may as well. Let's play perfection. <laughs> 45 seconds starts now. The Cassini division is a gap in Saturn's rings. True. True. There is a street in London called Little Britain. I would say false. False. Mikhail Gorbachev was arrested during a 1991 coup. True. True. And finally, in Superman's first comic strips, he couldn't fly. True. True. And with time to spare, you've answered all four statements. That sounded like a pretty good round for you. Yeah, a little bit guessy, but um, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Before we reveal exactly how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Aidan's answers. Naomi, has he achieved perfection? Um, I think he could be close, but I'm not convinced about B. Matthew? I think he's close as well, but again, I'm not convinced about B. Mike? I think, again, that B could well be true. Interesting. They all believe you got the same one mm. wrong. Aidan, the moment of truth, you need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are correct. <laughs> Three of the four means that, Aidan, you have not achieved perfection, which means you've let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. Usual suspects, you can steal the round. You can see Aidan's answers. You need to change just one of them. I've got a fair idea where you're going to go with it. <laughs> B. B, B. B. Yeah, change B, I think. Yeah. yeah Which will change B, Nick. Lovely. B changes from false to true, leaving A, C and D as Aidan answered. Usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. The Cassini division is a gap in Saturn's rings. True or false? True. There is a street in London called Little Britain. This is the one that's going to make the difference, isn't it? Because this is the one you changed. Is it true or false? It go. is true. It's near St Paul's. It's actually mentioned in uh, Dickens' Great Expectations. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev was arrested during a 1991 coup. True or false? True. And you know how this one's going to go, too. In Superman's first comic strips, he couldn't fly. True or false? True. Congratulations, usual suspects. You've achieved perfection. <laughs> Aiden, they managed to succeed where you failed. They've stolen the round. Usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Aiden's chances of winning the prize fund much harder in the final, and here's how. Aiden, here are your final round categories, ranging through African politics, armed forces, peers, etc., etc. OK, usual suspects, which two would you like Aiden to play in the final? We'll the one African politics, that's yeah, quite that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Unless it's something really simple, I think it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be difficult. Yeah. So that one's going across, is it? Yes. Yeah, African politics. What about... Peers, peers or the peers. arts? Peers, yeah, yeah peers. peers. Yeah, that could yeah. be yeah. quite uh, specific. Interesting, yeah. OK, so peers is going across too, yes? Yes, peers across. Yeah. Lovely, well done, usual suspects. It's time to switch you off, but we will see you in round two.
Aidan, with the usual suspects gone, uh, what do you think of those two choices for you? African politics? Uh, <laughs> not very good. It's not a great board in general for me, really. Wow, you're up against it then, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, Aidan, it's only the first round. You still have two more rounds to find perfection and choose your own categories for the final, which is the trick. Ready for the next round? Yes. Good. Yeah. Let's play round two. <laughs> the 45 seconds starts now. France is a UN Security Council permanent member. I would say false. False. The theme tune to Mastermind is called Why Me? True. True. The first woman in space was an American. Oh. Mm. I'm say false. False. And finally, the Battle of the Bulge took place in North Africa. <laughs> uh, Battle of the Bulge. Um, true. True. You didn't seem quite so confident in that round. No, no, the Battle of the Bulge, no. Uh, I usually have that when I put my trousers on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. So, usual suspects, these are the four statements, and next to them are Aidan's answers. Uh, Mike, how's he done? I am sure that he's got B wrong because the theme tune to Mastermind is called Approaching Menace. Interesting. Aiden, the moment of truth. You need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many are right. Oh, you've not got past one, which means you have very definitely failed to achieve perfection. You've also let your enemies, the usual suspects, into the game. You can see Aiden's answers. You need to change three of them. Uh, well, fr France is true because it is a UN Security right. Council permanent member. Do you think Mastermind is that is definitely that's false? Uh, false, yeah. Okay. So what about the? First What's the first? Space? Was she Russian? Russian. That's what I was thinking. Yes, I think she was. She's either going to be Russian or American. Was yeah. she Tereshkova? Was she called? So in which case, then the Battle of the Bulge is wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We want to change A, don't we, to, to true? A changes yeah. from false to true. Yeah. B from true to false. Yeah. B from true to false. And now we think that. D needs to be false. Yeah. So D changes from true to false, leaving C as Aiden answered. Use your suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. France is a UN Security Council permanent member. Is that true or false? It is true. The theme tune to Mastermind is called Why Me? Is that true or false? It's false. What did you say you thought it was, Mike? Approaching menace, Nick. And you're absolutely right, approaching menace. This is where we find out whether you won the round or not. The first woman in space was an American. Is that true or false? Yeah. Yes. It's false. She was a Russian. Valentina Tereshkova. Yeah. Very good, Mike. The Battle of the Bulge took place in North Africa. True or false? False, in fact. North America. Europe. Oh, so, congratulations, usual suspects. You've achieved perfection. Well done. Oh dear, Aiden, the usual suspects have succeeded yes. where you failed. It's not looking good, is it? Nope, they've stolen the round, which means, usual suspects, you now have the opportunity to make Aiden's chances of winning the prize fund of £1,000 that much harder. Two categories on there that you've chosen, usual suspects, and because you won that round, you've earned the right to choose the next two categories to add to the board. What are they going to be? Well, we thought newsreaders. TV newsreaders. Yeah. TV newsreaders. TV newsreaders? Yeah. What yeah. do we think the answer languages? Languages. Languages, languages. languages. Yeah, let's right. do languages. Languages, Nick. Thank you very much. Languages goes across and becomes the fourth of the six. Congratulations, usual suspects. You won the first two rounds. It's time to switch you off, but we will see you in round three. Aiden, if you're ready, we'll play round three. <laughs> the 45 seconds starts now. Lemurs are found exclusively in Sri Lanka. False. False. Field Marshal Montgomery's first name was Bernard. True. True. The US TV series Mad Men is set in the Air Force. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, false. False. And finally, in the name Donna Kebab, Donna means rotating. Um, false. False. With a little time to spare, you've answered all four statements. 
before we reveal how well you've done, it's time for us to bring back the usual suspects. Usual suspects, these were the four statements, and next to them are Aidan's answers. Matthew, has he achieved perfection? I'm afraid not, Nick. I'm not convinced about D, but then I might just be going down a little route of my own. OK. Aidan, you need to have answered all four statements perfectly to have won the round. Let's find out how many you've got correct. Three out of four isn't good enough, I'm afraid. Aiden, use your suspects. You can steal the round. You stole the last two. Can you steal the third one too? You need to change okay. one right. answer. A is right because they're not. They're found in Madagascar, so he's got that right. Right. Mm. right. C is definitely right because it's set in advertising. So then we've got to change B or D. Donna doesn't mean rotating, so it's false. I don't think it does. No. The, shish the shish kebab and Donna kebab. Right. Well, those are two different meats, aren't they? I don't know. I don't think Phil Marshall Montgomery was called Bernard. I think change B. Yeah. Yeah. We'll change B, Nick. Lovely. B changes from true to false. A, C and D remain as answered by Aiden. Usual suspects. Let's find out what the correct answers are. Lemurs are found exclusively in Sri Lanka. Is that true or false? It is false. Native to Madagascar. Well done, Matthew. Yeah. Field Marshal Montgomery's first name was Bernard. This is the one you chose to change, so we're about to find out whether you stole on the round or not. Is it true or false? <laughs> it's true. Right. So, it's I'm afraid, right. usual suspects, you had the chance to steal the round, but you failed to achieve perfection. I wonder whether you've achieved perfection at home. Let's press on and find out. So, we, the US TV series Mad Men is set in the Air Force. True or false? It is set in an advertising agency, Naomi. You're absolutely right. And in the name Donna Kebab... Donna means rotating. Is that true or false? It is true. So, usual suspects, had you achieved perfection, you would now have the opportunity to make Aiden's chances of winning the prize run much harder in the final. Let's have a look at the board. So, nobody managed to win round three, meaning that we have two blank spaces still to be filled. To fill those blank spaces, you'll take it in turn to choose a category. So, Aiden is the single player. You will choose first. I'm going to go for books. Books goes across. And usual suspects, please choose a category yeah. that you think will trouble Aiden. Do you think weather might like, Weather, say? yeah. We'll have weather, weather. Now. Thank you very much. Weather goes as the sixth and final category in the final. We now know the six final categories. They are African politics, peers, TV newsreaders, languages, books, and weather. Usual suspects, it's time to switch you off for the final time. Well, here's an interesting uh, stat for you. Uh, you've only got one subject chosen in the final six, so you'd think you should be up against it. Mm. But the game <laughs> that just played before you by Corinne, she also yeah. only had one yeah, of her yeah, own yeah. chosen subjects in there, and she took home the cash. So, Aiden, with £1,000 to play for, it's time to play the final. Aiden, this is the all-important final. If you can achieve perfection, you'll be leaving with a price of under £1,000. If you fail, you'll be leaving with nothing, which is great news for the usual suspects, as one of them could be playing for a rollover of £2,000 on the next game. Are you ready? Yep, as I'll ever be. Good. Let's play the final round. <laughs> Aiden, here are your final six categories. You must answer all six statements correctly if you want to win the £1,000. Think carefully. There's no time limit, but once you've given an answer, your first answer is locked in. Let's reveal your first statement. Please tell me whether you believe it to be true or false. African politics. Kanan Banana was once the president of Zimbabwe. It's a complete guess. I'm just going to say, um, true. True. Peers. Melvin Bragg's title is Baron Bragg of Wigton. Isn't Wigton a book town somewhere? Melvin Bragg's Baron. He's so... True. True. TV newsreaders. Angela Rippon was the UK's first female newsreader. Hmm. She's been going some time, though, hasn't she? True. True. Languages. The word Eureka means I have found it in Latin. Hmm. True. True. Books. How to Stay Married is a book by Jilly Cooper. True. True. And finally, weather. A gale is force 12 on the UK Beaufort scale. True. <laughs> it's a complete guess. <laughs> true. Those answers are locked in and you have a full line of trues. Remember, 
If there is one single mistake, you leave with nothing. Let's switch on the usual suspects. Usual suspects, you can now see the final six statements, and next to them are Aiden's answers. Aiden, your answers are locked in, and you can't change them by yourself, but if you think you've made a mistake, you can unlock them with the help of the usual suspects. This will, however, come at a cost. Remember, all of you, you can't refer to any of the statements specifically. Usual suspects, I'm now going to ask you to tell me how well you think Aiden has done, if you want to help, and if you do, how much it will cost. Aiden, who would you like to hear from first? Uh, I'll go for Mike first. I think you've done pretty well. I think you've definitely got one wrong. And also, um, I'm not too sure about uh, another couple. Do you want to come down for an amount of cash? No, I, I won't risk it on, on this occasion, uh, Nick. Mike's cut himself out of the negotiations. Where do you want to go next? Uh, Matthew, please. Hi, Aidan. I think you've got three wrong. Uh, but I'm not sure on the third, so I probably won't come down. So, you staying up there is because you're not sure or because you'd quite like it to roll over for £2,000 and the £1,000 isn't enough to share? You might think that, Nick. I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> OK, where would you like to go next? Uh, Naomi. Um, well, I'll be honest, Aidan. Um, I think that you have two that are wrong, but um, as Nick kind of said, uh, I would quite like it to roll over. Yeah. I'm not surprised, Sorry. really. <laughs> I think fairly early on we've realised that negotiations aren't going to go very far no, on this one. No, no, no. Uh, none of the usual suspects are willing to come down and help you, so it would appear you're on your own. Yes. £1,000 a stake, six answers away. Let's find out if you've achieved perfection. <laughs> if the statement turns green, it's true. If it turns red, it's false. Canaan Banana was once the president of Zimbabwe. You answered true. We need it to turn green to get you underway. Is it true or false? It's true. Oh. <laughs> 1980 to 87. Well done. Let's see if we can keep that momentum going. Uh, Melvin Bragg's title is Baron Bragg of Wigton. You thought about this for a while and then said, pretty much, why not? Yeah, yeah, cos I think Wigton... I think it's a book town in Scotland. Well, you answered true. We could do with this turning green to keep you on the way to the money. Is it true or false? It's true. <laughs> Better life here in 1998. Uh, Angela Rippon was the UK's first female newsreader. You said that could be true as well. Complete guess again. We need another green. Is it true or false? <laughs> I'm afraid it's false. Barbara Mandel was the UK's first female newsreader in 1955. Right. So a good bit before Angela Rippon. I'm afraid you haven't managed to achieve perfection and it means that you're going to go home with no money at all. Have you achieved perfection at home? Let's press on for you and see whether you got them right. The word Eureka means I have found it in Latin. You said true. Is it true or false? It's false, I'm afraid. Eureka is Greek. How to Stay Married is a book by Jilly Cooper. This was the one that you chose for yourself. <laughs> Have you read many Jilly Coopers? No, I haven't. It's not my cup of tea, <laughs> I, didn't really, think, so. <laughs> I didn't think you were expecting that when you chose Brooks. <laughs> Nonetheless, you answered true. Is it true or false? It's true! It's a guidebook which she wrote before she wrote her novel, so good for you. A gale is force 12 on the UK Beaufort scale. Is that true or false? You said true. I'm yeah. afraid not. Force 8 is a gale. Force 12, actually, is hurricane. Right, right. So there you go. Usual suspects, that's great news for you. The prize fund rolls over to the next game, where one of you could be playing for £2,000. So it's all worked out very well in the end, hasn't it? Yes. Oh. Aiden, you failed to achieve perfection, which means you go home with nothing. I hope you enjoyed playing the game. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. It's good. Aiden, you were great playing it. Let's hear it for Aiden, everybody. Right, cheers, thanks. <laughs> That's all we have time for. Please join us next time when our usual suspects have the chance to play again, this time for £2,000. But remember, on this show, we only pay for perfection. Goodbye. <laughs>the hopefuls are being taught to carve and fillet beef to perfection tonight. Michelle Rue's service is at eight. Antiques road tripping with James Braxton and Thomas Plant next this afternoon. 